So today we're solving a system of equations that is both in standard form but are a little bit harder. And here's why. Up until now when we were solving a system of equations when they were both in standard form, the numbers in front of x they, or y, they either matched up or we could just multiply one of the equations by a number and then they would match up. But notice in this situation right here and this situation right here, there's no there's no matching numbers next to the x's, there's no matching numbers next to the y, and we can't simply multiply one of these equations by a number, easily multiply an equation by one of these numbers and get the other one. I mean, we could multiply it by like a fraction or decimal and get the other one, but there's no simple whole number we can do. There is a way to solve this though, and a way to avoid fractions and decimals. What we can do is multiply both equations by a number so either the x's or y's match up. For example, if we look at this first and second equation, and let's look at the x's. We've got 3x and 5x. Now, if I multiply the first equation by 5, I'll have 15 x's in the first equation. And then if I multiply the second equation by 3, I'll also have 15 x's. All right, and then we can use the elimination method to solve it. So let's do that, all right? I'm going to multiply this first equation by 5, okay? If I do that, 5 times 3x gets me 15x. 5 times 7y is 35y. And 5 times 41 is 205. Now, for the second equation. And like I said before, I'm going to multiply the second equation by 3. When I do that, 3 times 5x is 15x. 3 times 2y is 6y, and 3 times 20 is 60. And notice, now that I've done that, my x's match up and I can solve this. Now the key to this though, was looking at the system of equations and finding a common multiple of the coefficients in front of x, 3 and 5. Now we could have also done it with the y's, but I just picked the x's in this case. All right, so let's go and solve this now. I've got 15x here, 15x here, so I'm going to have to subtract the two equations in order to eliminate the x's. Because 15x minus 15x leaves me with no x's. 35y minus 6y is 29y. And 205 minus 60 is 145. To get y, I'm going to divide both sides by 29. And I end up getting y equals Five. All right, now to go get x, I'm going to have to put y back into one of the original problems. I'm going to pick the second one because it's a little bit smaller. So 5x plus 2 times y, and we already know y is 5 now, so 2 times 5 equals 20. All right, so I know 2 times 5 is 10, so let's simplify this. 5x plus 10 equals 20. And now let's just solve this. Subtract 10 on both sides. 5x equals 10. And then divide both sides by 5. I'm going to get x equals 2. So now we have our solution. x is 2, y is 5. So notice, after we've multiplied both equations by a number to get a number in front of x to match up. Now it's just solving it like we've done before. All right, and there's lots of there's lots of video links down below that you can check out to see those other kinds. All right, so I've got one more example for you over on the side because this example is a good one where we don't have to just take the numbers in front of the x and y uh, x's and multiply the other equation by it. For example, right here, notice the second equation is a five in front of x, so we multiplied the first equation by five. And then the first equation has a 3 next to x, so we multiplied the second equation by 3, and we got a common multiple. Sometimes there's an easier common multiple. For example, on b, 8x plus 9y equals 65, 7x minus 6y equals 43. Now we could multiply the first equation by 7 to get 56x, and multiply the second equation by 8 and get 56x. But there's actually an easier, uh, easier number to multiply by. Look at my y's. I've got 9 and 6. They have a common multiple of 18. 
So we don't have to multiply the two equations by a bigger number. We can multiply it by a smaller number and still match up the y's. So if I multiply the top equation by 2, I'll have 18y. If I multiply the second equation by 3, I'll have 18, well, negative 18y. And then I can solve the system. So let's do that. First equation, I'm going to multiply by 2. And if I do that, I get 2 times, 8y, 2 times 8x is 16x. 2 times 9y is 18y. And 2 times 65 is 130. Now, when I multiply the second equation, I'm going to multiply it by 3. And by doing that, I get 3 times 7x is 21x. 3 times 6y is 18y. And 3 times 43 is 129. And look, my y's match up. So now I can solve the system. All right. So again, looking at the two equations planning ahead and seeing if you can find a common multiple is really going to help you out. And you can match up the, either the x's or y's. And finding the smaller common multiple will also make the problem a lot less complicated. Like if I multiplied the top one by 7 and the second one by 8, these equations would be huge. But by multiplying by smaller numbers, I can still match up the y's and not have to deal with such huge numbers. All right, let's solve this. I've got positive 18y and negative 18y, so I'm going to be adding the two equations together here. All right, so the y's are going to undo each other because positive y and negative 18y are gone. But 16x's plus 21x's is 37x equals, on the other side, I add these up, I get 259. Now to solve this, I'll divide by 37 on both sides. And I end up getting x equals 7. All right, now to get y, take our x, put it back into one of the original problems. I'm going to pick the first one because it's, eh, it doesn't matter. They're both pretty similar. All right. So instead of 8 times x, I'm going to do 8 times my value of x, which is 7, plus 9y equals 65. And this simplifies to just 56 plus 9y equals 65. I'm going to subtract 56 on both sides. When I do that, I get 9y equals 9. Almost there. Divide both sides by 9. I end up getting y equals 1. So there's my solution. x is 7, y is 1. All right. So that's the new that's the new step today. When you have a system of equations, sometimes you can just add or subtract them as they are. Sometimes you can just multiply one equation to get it so the x's and y's match up. And then sometimes like today, you're going to have to multiply both equations so the x's or y's match up. All right? So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, subscribe because it really helps us out. But with that being said, good luck on your math, and I will see you next time.